Hi, I'm Sherrod Brown, a United States Senator. Thank you to everyone at Kent State, my wife's alma mater, and OEOC for organizing today's conference. I know that Steve Clem and Chris Cooper and so many others have been carrying on John Logue's legacy, and he was a hero to all of us. We miss him. We move forward believing in what he dedicated his life to, helping workers share the wealth that they create. And that's really why what all of you do is so important. Last year, I visited the Evergreen Cooperative in Cleveland. My offices work with many of you to help get it off the ground. Now known across the country as the Cleveland model of ESOPs, Evergreen's an example of giving people second chances and instilling a sense of pride, community pride, and empowerment. It includes a laundry, a solar panel company, and food production greenhouse, each owned by employees, each unleashing local procurement to spur local economic development. Employees tell me how long he or she had to work until becoming an owner. Each explain what drove them all to be their best and desire to strengthen their community by working for and owning their business. That's what we see with ESOPs across Ohio. Businesses owned by their employees are more likely to keep dollars in the local community, less, less likely to outsource jobs overseas. Simply put, they sustain economic activity for working families and jobs with good wages. Now, ESOPs aren't the answer in every situation, but they are examples of how public-private partnerships can empower neighborhoods with new jobs and new industries. But what more, what more can we do to strengthen these partnerships? What can we do to promote the ownership culture and improve the technical assistance programs? These are the questions you're working to answer at today's conference throughout the days and months across the country. I look forward to hearing about your next steps, continuing to work with you to build capacity for workers to sustain their businesses, their communities, and to build and maintain a strong middle class. Thank you all so much for what you're doing.